Muted celebrations, dampened slightly by a rain-affected game, but the end result, another fully deserved victory for the Black Caps. They move forward into the Super 8s, their 100% record intact. I think we've got some good momentum. We've done some done some things really well during this uh, during these past two games and these couple of areas that we, we know we're going to have to improve on. But um, but all in all, it's it's a pretty good preparation in the Super Eights. If we want to win a World Cup, if you want to walk away with the title, then you've got to you got to beat those good teams. And South Africa's going to present a different challenge to what we've come up against the last two games. I think this is predominantly spin down here, Guyana. Um, so depending on what team uh, South Africa play, we'll, we'll have to try and put some plans around that. But. Um, every game's big from here on in, so we've got to make sure that we're, we're playing at the absolute best to, to make sure that we get the results we need to and, and, and ensure that we're there uh, come semi-final time. Is there any danger of the rain derailing this tournament? It depends on, on how it, uh, what sort of climb we, we head into down in Barbados, but obviously here, um, rain plays its part. And I think we saw yesterday with England. The England game, though, probably a little unfortunate um, with the result, and, and whether Duckworth Lewis is, is right for 2020 or is, is going to be something that's going to be argued for a while yet, but um, hopefully it doesn't play its part because 2020 is a great game. We all know that this tournament has the potential to, to captivate another audience. Well, both of Zimbabwe's games were affected by rain and decided by the controversial Duckworth Lewis method. They did, though, beat Australia and Pakistan in their warm up games, and they head home with the coach tipping New Zealand as possible winners. I think they're outstanding, man. and um, you know, if one or two key players, you've got match winners um, with bat and ball, and if they come off, I think you guys have got a chance um, of winning this as, as any team out there, and I think, I think the Sri Lankan and New Zealand. You know, in this group uh, are, are real contenders in these conditions here in the Caribbean.